Yeah, hi everybody, this is uh, Ryan here with you again, kind of finishing up the service on the truck. And um, I wanted to show you all two filters that are kind of forgotten about, or a lot of people don't even know they're there on these trucks, especially on the uh, Cummins ISX here. But um, the first one is the, uh, there's a crankcase filter here that um, I change it out every other oil change. So basically 30,000 miles, they're 45, 50 bucks. So I just change it out because uh, if that gets plugged up, you can get high back pressure in the engine and that can cause seals to blow and, and other problems and like that. So uh, I'll show you all that and um, then I'll show you all the uh, the coolant filter, which I usually change out annually. Um, it's kind of a good rule of thumb. But, um, that one's pretty simple. I'll show you that too. Um, I'll show you this uh, crankcase filter right now. So it's actually located right here. So if you've got a Cummins, an ISX-15 like this one, um, you'll see that little so I already got it off here. But, um, it's this little cover, and it actually has the uh, repart the part number on there, that replacement filter number. And um, it is any place that sells Cummins, it doesn't really matter what truck brand you have, they can look that up and get that for you. Or I actually get them on Amazon or Napa. But um, to take that off, you're going to have to take this uh, intake pipe lift off the intercooler here. So it's not a big deal. Just uh, need a little bit more clearance to get to the bolts and pop it out. So um, basically, this just pulls out. And, um, it's pretty well all it is. So you just take the old one out, put the new one in, and bolt it back up. And uh, I think there's a little torque requirement on there. Yeah, 14 and a half inch pounds. So it's real, real. Just barely tight is all you need. But now I'll go around here and show you all the coolant filter. This one's kind of hidden. So it's actually right here. And there's a valve. Um, you turn this counterclockwise and that'll turn, turn that off. So that way water's not draining out. So pretty much all you gotta do is turn that valve. Um, go ahead and spin the filter off with a filter wrench, whatever you got. And um, put the new one back on. Got the new one here, just a regular, said just a regular spin on, and um, then once you get the new one on and it's tight, uh, go ahead and turn the valve back on. You're done. So pretty simple. Two little simple things. Like I said, I change this one out annually. Um, the crankcase uh, filter over there, I change it out every other oil change. Uh, I change my I use conventional oil. And, um, I, I I do mine every about every fifteen thousand. Sometimes I got to push it to seventeen, just depending on the trip I'm on. Because um, that's that's when when the truck usually starts burning oil, and that tells me that the oil is breaking down. It's getting thinner and um, needs to be changed. So that's it's kind of up to you what what your maintenance uh, intervals are. But uh, that's just the way I do mine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I just wanted to show you all those while I was doing them here this morning, and uh, get this thing back together and go pick up a load here and get out of town Friday. So uh, thanks for watching. If, uh, like the videos, like it, and uh, subscribe if uh, we're helping you out. Thanks.